Ignite Your Purpose. We're back, episode 99, 99. Welcome, welcome back. Thank you, thank you for listening, thank you for watching. Um, as always, we talk longevity through a healthy lifestyle. It's the uh, Max, uh, 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 he's Max. <laughs> it's a mix of the mind, the body, the soul, the physical, the mental, the spiritual, all of that stuff just jingled into one. And that's what we, uh, we kind of talk about. Now, what's interesting is when we started this and said, let's do it every day. I'm not in touch. We said it and we believed it. But I'm not entirely yep. sure we actually thought we would deliver. Off the back of, we were doing shows back in November and then we fell off a cliff for about three months. Um, so I'm not sure my, my heart was truly in there that we would do it. But we have done a show every day for 99 days. Once or twice, um, just logistics and uh, international time zones and things haven't quite worked out. But I've done my bit. Max has followed up with his, or Max has done his, and I've followed up. So there's been something posted on Facebook for the last 99 days. So if you've got plenty of time on your hands and you'd like to go through the back catalog, be our guest. Comment, maybe uh, throw in a suggestion or two. So Max... Consistency. Uh, have you got a personal story? Have you just got some thoughts in relation to this show? What's happening? You know, consistency. Yeah, you know, if you if you if you sit at where we currently are, and I don't mean just you and I, but I mean the viewers, where you sit, where you currently are, and you can look back, right? It is those things that you've consistently done day in, day out that made you better, that have made you where you are, we are today, right? And I sit back and I, and I, cause I don't do this often enough, but I'm looking back. Yeah. Like for example, for John and I, when we, it was right around Christmas, we started strong and then John went on a vacation. I went on a vacation. Um, that was probably a total of around six weeks to two months between us both. Um, and it was just, it just fell off. Right. And then, and then once you fall off, you get into that routine, that consistency of falling off, right. Of, filling up that yeah. space of time with whatever else, right? Yeah, making excuses to, to fit other things in, yeah. Oh, and, yeah, or not choosing to do it or, you know, um, watching a movie was more important or going to work out was more important or whatever, whatever yeah. other people do or whatever we did, right? But when you can sit at the top of your mountain and you can look back and go, man, look at this lifetime. I did one step a day and I'm all the way to the top uh, it, it, there's such a feeling of just, oh man, I don't even know the word for it, of just gratefulness, of just, man, we did this. We put in the work and you feel, you feel stronger. You feel, the word will come to me, John, take over for a sec. The word will come to me. Um, but I mean, other than just saying it feels good. It feels good to well, be consistent in so many ways of life. Go ahead, John. Well, it's, it's interesting. We, we were just having a chat pre-show, pre-show on the, the other pre-show. The other pre-show. Um, and we were talking about uh, MP3 files, MP4 files, creating thumbnails or screenshots and uploading to Podbean and YouTube and wherever it is. And when we began this, we, we, we started from zero knowledge, pretty much. And it would take forever to get just one show up. Um, and I was just saying how how much more uh, efficient I am with the time as in, right, we'll download that, but whilst that's doing that, we'll do this. Whilst that's doing that, we'll create this thumbs. And now it, it still takes some time, but it's the consistent behavior and chipping away. And when things are difficult and we find it hard, I think that's when the, the neurons are going, they're making these little connections and remembering and sort of, uh, creating that motor skill and pattern to learn. But consistency is something I, it may be one of my biggest cruxes. I, I, am, I'm, I will go freaking all out and then I'll stop nothing. And I struggle with that quite often. I do it with, with studying, right, I'm going to do this course. And, and it's interesting and it's new and I'll put loads of time and loads of effort into it and other things will get put off. 
And then when, when life gets busy, oh, I won't do it for one day or I won't do it for two days. And then they think, oh, right, well, I'll just finish this book off or I'll just listen to this podcast or whatever it might be. And I genuinely believe it's, it's anonymous micro actions that dictate not only um, what we achieve, but who we are. These insignificant little things that we do day in, day out, create us. Um, and consistency is something I work on each and every day. I truly believe that having done the Ignite Your Purpose daily podcast daily, on the daily, each and every day with Max, and it's not been it's not been easy at times. There are times when it's 10 o'clock at night and I desperately want to go to bed, but Max is on a different time zone. Or the, or the other way around. I'm dragging him out of bed at half five, six in the morning because I've got to go and get on a plane. But I genuinely believe this has been a a big kind of step change in, in how I uh, deal with many, many things in my life. And I look forward to applying this new uh, element of consistency and continuity uh, on the daily for other things. So Max, did you remember what you wanted to say? I can't remember the word. Uh, it just feels, well, I'll just say the word good. You look back like, it, almost like you've left a legacy. I, I can only think of it like a, a, an old grandfather who looks back and sees generations of his kids. There's a word there. I just can't remember what the hell it is. You feel good. You feel nostalgic. I don't know. But you've, done, you've accomplished. There's a word. You've accomplished something. Um, and we could talk about, you know, health. You could do it with food. You could do it with workout. You could do it with, for me, meditation, uh, martial arts, fighting skills, all these things. Um, consistency, yes. But like John said, it's some of these more little things, you know, of just, okay, man, I don't want to wake up at five today, John. But I made a promise to him. I made a promise to myself and vice versa. John wants to go to bed. He's going Jesus H, when's this kid going to get here? I finally get here and he's made the, you know, he's made the, the commitment. We've made the commitment and we're doing it. And, and we see the, the leaps, bounds and gains and, and the knowledge we learn. So, it, but on the truth, it, it's some of those. Max has gone quiet. Hello, Max. We'd love some consistency and continuity with, um, with the internet, transatlantic. That'd be good. We may have to give him a minute. And if not, are you, are you back? I'm back. Cool. He's back. I'm black. He's back. Is that Did I leave you for a bit? Okay. Um, not much more to say, but ignite your purpose. We, uh, we're here for you each and every day, and I still can't believe I'm going to see this guy for the rest of my life every day. <laughs> and you know what? We don't know where it's going. Yeah. But all I have to say right now is, I'm speaking to Max today, and then tomorrow, I'll be speaking to Max tomorrow. And don't worry about the weeks and months and years ahead, because we will continue to do it for as long as you get value and we get value, and that's the end of that. Max just sticking his face out the window, looking at the neighbours, checking out his car for the kids. Hey, mister, give me some sweets. <laughs>